evaluating algebra is basically um, performing substitution method in some of our expressions. So let's say I have x equal to 3, y equal to 5, and z equal to negative 2, and we need to find x plus 3, 2y, and 3x minus z by evaluating the expressions, all we have to do is to substitute or plug in the value of x, y, and z to its corresponding operation. So for letter A, since I have x plus 3, I will replace x by my value of x that is given in the problem, which is 3. So I have 3 plus 3, which gives me 6. So to evaluate x plus 3, where x is equal to 3, the expression is equal to 6. So that's how simple evaluating expression is. All you have to do is to plug in the value or the given value to your expression and simplify your answer. So for letter B, if I have 2y, we know that if a number is right next to the letter, the operation is multiplication. So 2y is simply 2 times the value of y, which is equal to 5. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And for letter C, I have 3x minus z by evaluating or substitution method. I'm going to replace x by 3 and z by negative 2. So I have 3 times 3 minus negative 2. Now notice that I need to use my rule in adding and subtracting signed numbers because that is part of the skill that you need to be able to have to evaluate expressions. So negative and negative becomes positive, so you'll end up with 9 plus 2, which gives you 11. So remember, you have to use the correct order of operation like P-E-M-D-A-S, and also you need to remember how to add and subtract signed numbers. For the second example, we have a little bit longer expression. So we have 2x minus 3xy plus 4y when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 5. So using our expression, the first step is to replace all our variables or letters with our corresponding value. So for x equal to 3, we will replace all our x's with 3. And for y equals negative 5, all our y's will be changed into negative 5 by substitution method. And by the order of operation, we need to uh, multiply all the numerical values that we can simplify, like 2 times 3, which gives us 6. 3 times negative 5, which gives us negative 5, and 4 times negative 5, which gives us negative 20. Now, further simplifying your expression, we can multiply two negatives, and uh, 9 times negative 5 will give you negative 45. So I, I haven't changed my sign here yet, and I'm going to do that later on. And if I have plus or minus, I'm going to have a minus as an operation because positive and a negative right next to each other will turn into a negative. So I have 6 minus negative 45 minus 20. Now to simplify this operation, two negatives makes a positive, so I'll end up with 6 plus 45 minus 20. Now using the order of operation, when you're left with addition and subtraction, all you need to do is to perform the left to right method. So you don't need to worry about the PEMDAS anymore. With addition and subtraction. So you have 6 plus 45, which is 51, minus 20, which gives you 31. So 2x minus 3xy plus 4y, when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 5, is simply equal to 31. Now for my next example, you will see exponents in our expression. So let's solve for x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared, when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. Now remember that exponent, when you see an exponent, it means you need to multiply that number by itself according to the number of exponent you have. So let's say I have x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared. By substitution, I will replace my x and y by 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1 squared. Now I'm going to uh, use the parentheses and exponent first so I know that 3 times or negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1 which gives me positive 1. And I'll have 2 times negative 1 which gives me negative 2 and 2 squared will give me 4 because 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now to further simplify my expression, I will multiply negative 4 and negative 2, and 2 negatives makes a positive, so I'll end up with positive 8. And 3 times 1 is simply 3, and by simplifying my last step, 
4 plus 8 plus 3 will give me 15. So x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1 is simply equal to 15.